Hello everyone, my name is Kenji. This year I'm turning 24, sorry, 22, and I'm from Indonesia. I'm currently in the United States, specifically in Los Angeles. The people here are generally, they are, um, I would say, more straightforward and outspoken. So, for, for example, if you give them something, offer like, hey, do you want to try this? Do you want to try this food? Hey. Do you want this? Do you want that? And they will like, oh, sure, why not? Oh, thank you, oh, sure, sure, oh, no, oh, sure. And that's it. But in Indonesia, we used to have uh, this kind of like manner or cultural thing where people offer you something and you will like, no, 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 even though deeply you really want it, but you, should, you have to say, no, 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 oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, no, no, you're good. But here, no, if they want it and, okay, they just take it and thank you that's it speaking of culture shocks yeah people are way more individualistic here i think individualistic kind of like have negative connotations but i would say independent i guess and also in a class settings we as indonesian students we used to call our teachers mr or miss right but here you could just call by their names another one is if you want to go to the toilet you could just walk away without any permissions so the first thing that i think everybody should have is adaptability i will talk about adaptability this is included so having a growth mindset and having confidence with yourself believe in yourself having confidence with yourself, being secure, and growth mindset. All of these things are, I would say, the ability to adapt. And then second is finding community. This is also really important. So go to church, finding a local community, or joining clubs. So just like, just, just any community that you like. And then third, um, having some respects because we live in the diverse in the diverse world. So there's no such thing as this culture is better than the other. So everybody's kind of like equal here. So having those kind of thought, you have to pay respect to those differences. Eh? That's it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Paula Gavius. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Germany, from the southern part of Germany, which is uh, near Stuttgart. And I am studying communications. And I'm now going into my internship, which is going to be um, about yeah communications, marketing team of a big consultancy. And I really like uh, communications and the field of marketing because I like understanding people. And I like the interaction with people. And I like um, yeah just working with people and for people. and the whole com communicating different aspects of, of different topics in different ways to get a certain type of result, and that is really interesting to me. Now, for your question, are there specific nonverbal cues or gestures that are different from where I come from? Well, yes. So for Indonesia, for example, um, people stop cars like this. <laughs> And we don't do that in Germany. We do that to stop cars. But what also what Indonesians do is to mm, like to wave someone to come like this. So if an Indonesian person would do this to me, I would understand that I have to come to them. But that's not really how we do it in Germany, because in Germany you would do like this if you want a person to come. So that's very interesting. Now to your third question, how did you initially experience culture shock? Um, well, I was traveling before I came to Indonesia, so uh, it was a smooth transition, I would say. But what was really interesting is that once I arrived in Indonesia, in Jakarta for living and not just for traveling, I noticed that people were a lot louder than what I would expect them to be in Germany, because in Germany people are not as well, not as extrovert, not as communicative, and um, in Indonesia, people are like super loud and super, um, well, very interested in you, but that 
is not what I'm used to in Germany. So that was definitely something that shocked me and I had to really get, well, used to. <laughs> Plus, personal space is viewed very differently in Indonesia than it is in Germany. And now your last question, um, effective strategies for overcoming culture shock. Well, I think one thing that really helped me is to kind of shift from the perspective of being annoyed and being, oh my God, what is that? What is happening? To, well, trying to not see it as something worse than my culture or something bad or something annoying, but more try to shift the perspective to, wow, how would they see my culture? And my culture, for example, for Indonesians can be super super cold and super um well defensive and super isolated and that really helped me see both cultures a little bit from from the bird's perspective and to understand both cultures and the positive things about both cultures and the negative things about both cultures again also mine so that was definitely something um that helped me to shift perspectives thank you